Okay, people. Uh, I swear I'll get this video up in the next hour. I'm about to watch the uh, highlights of the ceremonial weigh-ins. Um, I'm assuming it's on the McGregor channel, uh, the Mac Life. I'm assuming that they're going to show all of the fights hot and fast, but uh, let's get it going. We kick things off in the Phantom Weight Division. Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Black Blue Sorry, sorry. Sugar Sean O'Malley. So maybe it's just the main card. If it is, I apologize. Uh, I'll go First over the rest of the, the card. Scale, Chris Mutino. Yeah, I Official mean Sugar Sean. This should 35. be. I mean Sugar Sean should. It's probably gonna knock this guy out. I'm pretty sure. I don't know anything about him, but in my head, that's how I see it going. Black security dude with the uh, beard that went to school out here. That's Elliot. His name is Elliot. He's a big boy. Sure, sure looks good. Official weight was sure looks good. That's for sure. Yeah, he should knock that dude out, for sure. He got a bottom grill. Next, we move to the women's phantom weight division. Irene Aldani. Irene Aldani. Aldana. Yana Kuniskaya. Love this fight. And I heard Misha Tate say that if Yana wins this fight, she would love her. I think she kind of wants the winner of this fight, to be honest. If she gets past Murray and Renault. Um, okay. First on the scale. Love I Irene Aldana. She's one of my favorites. I uh, can't remember if she's fought since Holly Holm, but I was disappointed in that fight. She just didn't, couldn't. She was just getting beat to the punch all around. Uh, I think this might be her first fight back since then, I believe. Not positive, but she's one of my favorite bantamweights. Oh, she missed weight. Holy fuck. Wow. I haven't been paying attention. I apologize, guys. Yana's in her Yana face. And look at fucking Bruce Buffer kind of jacked out there. What the hell? Damn. The next fight takes place in the heavyweight division. Ty Tui Vasa. Okay, so this is just the main card, and then I'll go over the rest of the card later. You know, after this, sorry. Who's coming out first, Greg Hardy? This is good. From Mr. Hardy. This is a good fight. I'm torn on who I would choose, Ty Tubasa or uh, Greg Hardy. I don't know. And his opponent, Ty it's a good fight. I know that. Uh, I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning towards Ty Tuivasa to get the, get it done. Uh, honestly, but it's a uh, it's a tough fight. But so far, okay, I got Sugar Sean. Irene Aldana. I think I'm picking uh, Tai Tuivasa. I think he gets it done. I think he gets it done. Heavyweight action, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's a good fight. It's a fun fight. And Greg Hardy. Next, we move to the co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. I love this fight, dude. I'm definitely picking Wonder Boy for this fight, man. I just think Wonder Boy's got the edge. He's going to be able to stay on the outsides and point his ass up. That's truly what I think. Uh, Gilbert can knock him out, definitely. Look, I'm wondering if Gilbert's going to shoot and mix it up, you know what I mean? But uh, I think Wonder Boy's going to do his thing. 
I want Wonder Boy to get a title shot. I would love to see him versus Usman. It'd be a, uh, I think that's the fight that needs to happen. We've seen him fight everybody else, like literally, you know? So I'd like to see Wonder Boy versus uh, Usman. <clears throat> Good fight. Wonder Boy looks good. Gilbert looks good. Hell yeah, here we go. Main event time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former UFC featherweight champion, the former UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Connor. This is so exciting. Oh, man. Picking Dustin, unless Connor starches him in the first round. You know what I mean? We'll see, though, dude. We'll see. He looks good. Connor looked good, man. Here we go, Dustin. I love this sport, bro. I really do. Fights like these just make me fucking love this sport, bro. Official weight, one. Damn, Dustin looks good, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Bunch of cups on Connor's back. Dana's like, I ain't taking no chances, bro. He's like, nah, bro. No kicks, nothing. I'm here with Conor McGregor. Conor, this is an immense fight, a huge fight, a huge fight for your career, a huge fight for the sport. What does tomorrow night mean to you? Joe, in 16 hours' time, this man is going to learn that if you disrespect a person's kindness and take it as a weakness, you must pay. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna make this man pay with his life, and I mean it. You're dead in that octagon tomorrow night. Huh. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, big boy. I'm here with Dustin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen. Dustin, you come into this fight, the betting favorite. It's crazy that people fight. booing, man. I fucking man just, I hate, I fucking knockout. just hate people, what bro. What do these words mean to you, and what does tomorrow night mean to you? It means nothing. It's noise. Tomorrow night, tune in. I want to thank you all for the cheers, the booze. I love you all. I want to give a shout out to a young man in the audience, a real fighter from Lafayette, Louisiana, Peyton Murphy. Keep fighting, brother. You're the, you're the real fighter. Good luck to you wow. tomorrow, sir. Dustin. Dustin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for beautiful man we'll beautiful so that's the main card guys uh that's the main card um let's go over real quick the uh rest of this card i believe because that was the main card i do want to talk about the prelims like carlos because what we didn't get to see was carlos condit max griffin um which is a great fight that's a great fight for carlos i feel like carlos can edge that fight out too um uh 
and beat Max Griffin. I'm wondering, but what I'm wondering is if Max Griffin's going to wrestle him. I know he's from MMA Gold. I know they have strong wrestling. Um, I don't know if they call themselves MMA Gold anymore, but that's like Jim West, Aspen Lad, people like that over there. I forgot who else is over there. I can't. I'm going. I'm having a brain fart. But uh, I'm curious. I'm curious to what the hell is that? Gain, I'm curious to see bloating. if. Uh, apologize for that. Um, I'm curious to see if Max Griffin's going to wrestle him. But if it's a stand up, I think Carlos can get it done. Carlos starts a little slow, but he gets he picks up as it goes on. Uh, but I feel like he's in his groove right now. And that and that press, uh, he did media the other day, and I heard him, and he was just like, I'm going to stand in there, and I'm going to give him my, you know, he sounded like some real deal shit. So I'm picking Carlos for that fight just because it's one of my all-time favorites. Nico Price, Michelle Pereira, Pereira. Uh, I don't know what, which way to go with that. I can see that going either way, but I'm leaning towards Michelle Pereira winning that fight. Uh, Ryan Hall. Ilya Topuria, great fight. Ryan Hall finally got an opponent, and he's facing an undefeated. This is going to put some name on Ryan Hall's, uh, put a name on Ryan Hall. Like, people don't know. Also, Ryan Hall said he can't get fights, but he's hoping after this win, he's going to be able to, um, uh, you know, get some names on his shit, you know. And then Topuria is saying he thinks his, uh, thinks Ryan Hall is overrated. So I'm like, all right, bro, you think he's overrated? Let's see what you do, you know what I mean? Um, I'm really interested in seeing Ryan Hall. I think because we haven't seen him since. What was his last fight? Okay, he yeah, Darren Elkins took will beat Darren Elkins in the decision. Uh, but what else, man? Why are they like not allowing me to go like over? Because I know he beat BJ Penn. Who else he beat, man? Why are they not allowing me to go over to see his record? Huh. Anyways, I'm really interested in seeing that. And if he smashes Topiria, bro, because this is a great fight for Ryan Hall, for real, to show. Because this dude's got a hype on him. He's undefeated. I think he's on like a two, three, five win streak in, win streak in the UFC. Uh, one, two. Yeah, he beat Yusuf. He's beat Damon Jackson in his last fight. Um, I feel like he fought one more time. Maybe he might just be on a two fight win streak. He might have maybe that was his debut was uh Um I don't know, man. I feel like he's got three fights in the UFC. I might be tripping. But uh it's a good look. He's undefeated, ten and zero. Ryan Hall against him. If Ryan Hall does what he does against this fool, that's a great fucking um that's a great look for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh who's after who's before Ryan Hall? Let's see. Oops. Uh, Trevin Giles and Drick. I don't know this Duplessis dude, man. I'm not familiar with him. But Trevin Giles is on, uh, doing his thing right now, so I, I would just lean. I'm picking Tre- Trevin just because I don't know other dude. Jennifer Maya, Jennifer Maya, Jessica I. Great fight. Uh, and then the other fights I just don't. Brad Tavares, Amari Akhmedov. I would imagine Amari Akhmedov is going to take Brad Tavares. I don't know Zulgis, Zulmugalov, Jerome. I don't know those four, the first two fights at all. So apologize for that because I'm an idiot. But uh, Jessica I, Jennifer Maya, I think Jennifer Maya is going to get it done. Be Jessica I. I just think, nah, I don't want to be disrespectful. I just think Jennifer Maya is going to beat Jessica I. I love Jessica I. Don't get me wrong, I love her. But I just think Jennifer Maya is going to get it done. Um... But yeah, man, that's it for the weigh-ins. We'll see you, man. One more sleep, and it's UFC 264, bro. Um, um, I'll definitely, I'm definitely gonna be right on here tomorrow night, right after the fight. As soon as the fight's finished, I'll be in here getting busy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. I'm out of here. Peace.